Hey everyone, this is Mark. Thanks for taking a moment to watch this video with me. Um, we're going to do something that I haven't done actually in, in a bit. Um, I know I do the unboxing um, and my viewers seem to really like that. And uh, this is kind of something cool that uh, I could share with all of you. We're going to do a seal to reveal on this awesome record. Elvis, that's the way it is. Um, as you can see, it is... It is sealed, it is sealed. You can see the, the cell thing on it. And I was trying to think, I, I know I've had this for quite, a, not quite a while, probably several, several months I've had this. And um, I try to save these to do these videos. Um, so I can't, re I don't know what's in here. I don't know if this is an orange label. I don't, it, it looks like the flexible because you had the rigid label or the rigid vinyl and then you had the, uh, flexible vinyl or flexi vinyl as they call it or I'm not sure what the actual terminology was but as you can see it's pretty wobbly so I don't know if it's uh, an orange a tan um, the black label with the RSA what they, what they refer to as the RCA with nipper on the top right I don't know so we will find that together um, but I was trying to think I can't remember where I got this um, I remember I didn't pay very much for it, but I remember I got this. I got it online. I bought it from somebody. But, uh, yeah, that's that's an epic cover. You get that ring from this uh, the reflection from my stand for my phone. But uh, this album actually is my favorite album from the 70s. It's phenomenal. Uh, great, great songs. <clears throat> so side one is I Just Can't Help Believing. 20 Days and 20 Nights, How the Web Was Woven, Patch It Up, Mary in the Morning, You Don't Have to Say You Love Me, that's side one. Side two, You've Lost That Loving Feeling, I've Lost You, Just Pretend. My favorite song on this album, and probably my top, definitely top 10 all-time favorite all the songs, Stranger in the Crowd. Love, love that song. The next step is Love and Bridge Over Troubled Water. Um, on the back, it says, See, the MGM personal appearance, appearance film at the theaters worldwide. Uh, directed by Dennis Saunders or Sanders. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but yeah. Now, it does say Stereo LSP 4445. Cause I think a lot of these releases back then uh, were stereo. They weren't, they weren't making the mono. I don't believe anymore. But yeah, this is a really nice copy. Um, I didn't bring down, where did I? Yeah, I got the I got the sleeve right here. I can see I didn't bring down a protective sleeve, but I, it was in one already. I must have put it in one at some time, but I'll keep it for right now because I'm not thrilled about this particular sleeve. I have my own brand new sleeves upstairs in storage. I'll put it in that uh, probably in the next couple of days, but I want to leave the cellophane on now, so I want to carefully open this. And <laughs> a viewer, uh, probably two or three months ago, so hey, I see you open. Uh, your albums with your uh, with your wife, your wife's knives, and I do. That's what I'm using because they're super super sharp, super super thin, and they they cut real easy. But uh, the viewer had said, "I'm going to get you a a blade or something you can open." So <laughs> so I went very carefully, ah, without cutting myself, try to open this. Looks like there's a little. All right, almost, almost there. There's that. So yeah, this has been sealed. This has either been sealed since 1970 or later a year. So there it is now open. <clears throat> and it looks like, looks like it is definitely a first pressing just based on what I'm seeing with the sleeves, so all this is Stereo 8 tape catalog. <clears throat> it shows through, looks like Paradise Hawaiian style on that side, as you can see. <clears throat> and on the flip, all this is Stereo 8 tape catalog. It looks like uh, the last one is the... Elvis in person at the International and Elvis back in Memphis. So yeah, 
I'm feeling pretty confident that this is going to, this is a first press orange label. So yes, it's exactly what it is. There is side one. So really excited about that. And then side two. So yeah, that was that was pretty cool. And I said I couldn't I, I couldn't couldn't begin to tell you where I where I bought this. Like I said, I know I bought it obviously online, but um, yeah, and I think I remember reading that it was advertised as a first pressing. Like I said, I didn't pay a whole whole lot for it, from, but couldn't even tell you how much I paid for it to be honest with you. So yeah, that's how you can tell. And it talks about his cassette tape catalog, a little, little bit of a crease, but those are common in a lot of these when they're brand new, the way they're packaged at the factory, they kind of get jumbled in there and get a little bit bent, but it's an original sleeve, still really white, as you can see. And there's the most recent, oh, what is this? Uh, twin, twin packs, that's pretty cool. So you have Elvis, his Elvis GI Blues, Elvis is back. Twin pack, uh, Blue Hawaii and Potluck. You got like a di little bit of a different color. That's what caught my eye. This is, this is an odd pairing. Frankie and Johnny and uh, something for everybody. Uh, okay, there you go. This, this is a good pairing. How great the art and his hand in mine. And then like I said, Elvis in person at the International. And Elvis back in Memphis. <laughs> Elvis sings songs of Christmas. <laughs> very cool. Very, very cool. And then the ones on the back, like I said, are just the beloved eight tracks that were popular back in the time. So there you have it. Very cool. Yeah, I haven't done a, um, I hadn't done a uh, sealed reveal in quite some time. So. And I actually did this. I, this was completely spontaneous. I hadn't planned this. I actually recorded a video, which you'll see first, uh, just moments ago. In fact, you can see my my turntable lid is, is up. I'll fix that in a second because I played something, which you'll have to wait and see. By the time you see this video, most of you know what, what I what I what I did, what I played and reviewed. But this was completely spontaneous. And I'm glad you're here with me to watch it and share it with me. So very cool. All right. So again, thank you all for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, hope you all have a great rest of your week. Stay safe out there. And uh, until next time, we'll see you.